Hey guys, today we're doing a mosaic towel tray. I've done one of these before, but I did it a little differently this go round. So for this tray, um, I decided I didn't want to paint it. So I'm using a wax from Folk Art. And this one is an antique wax. It has a brown tint, which is really beautiful. And you just have to brush it on or use a cloth to wipe it on and then wipe the excess off with a clean cloth and you get this beautiful look um, that you see here. Or if you can find a tray that already looks like this, <laughs> that may be an easier way to go about it. But um, yeah, so anywho, I went ahead and I got the tiles um, applied to the tray off camera, as well as the gold charms that you see here. I used the weld bond glue to get them all on. Another glue that I really am fond of is E6000, but the weld bond for the size of the bottle that you can get, it's a much better value, at least to me. So I've been using that recently and it does a really good job holding everything in place. So that's why I use it. Once I let uh, the glue sit and dry, I would say for at least a few hours, if not overnight, then um, I went ahead and applied the resin. So I did a very thin layer, just enough to kind of um, be just under where the tiles sit in the tray. And I used a little silicone tipped applicator to not only remove the debris like you see here, but also to help push the resin around um, in some of the corners and crevices to make sure that I got a good, thin, even, base of that resin. I also applied some glitter with a brush to the very bottom and that was before I even poured the resin and that way there could be a very slight shimmer um, depending on how you looked at the tray. So once we got the or once the resin cured and it can take 12 to 24 hours I just waited until it was um, cured overnight and the next day it was uh, essentially set enough that if I needed to touch it or if anything lightly touched it, it wouldn't be a problem. So that's when I went ahead and I did the edges. I initially did use a paint marker, but I didn't like the color of the gold compared to the charms on the inside. So then I grabbed a gilding adhesive and applied that to the edges, waited about 10 minutes and then added some uh, imitation gold leaf and I feel like that came out um, with a much better match tone wise to the charms on the inside and helped tie everything together much better. Um, with the gold leaf, once that was added, since um, you know I didn't have a really large surface that I was working on, I didn't have to wait that long before I brushed the excess off. And I would say maybe 30 minutes, I let it sit to ensure that that adhesive was dry enough and then I brushed off the excess. Once that was all brushed off, I did go ahead and I used a clear wax also from Folk Art and I applied that to the inner sides, the outer sides and to the gold leaf area just to make sure that everything um, had a finish on it to help protect the tray. But that is pretty much it you guys this is how the tray turned out i love it and i hope that uh, you guys also like the video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a thumbs up you can subscribe if you'd like to um follow along with my my craft <laughs> um and thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and um take care of yourselves bye